Hi, so I uh, want to make a, um, a video here mostly for uh, my grandson Calvin um, and also for my my children Andrew, Caitlin, Duncan and Maraid and any other grandchildren that might come along in the future um, also for my relatives or anybody that's interested um, so I'd like to start by telling our family story about how our family on the Morrison side came from Scotland to Canada which was probably about circa 1815 uh, we don't have any documentation to prove the exact time when the Morrison family came from Scotland although I have found a marriage record in Scotland for the patriarch of the family uh, that would be Donald Feeler Morrison uh, his nickname Feeler was Gaelic for Fiddler because he was quite a good fiddle player as uh, far as I can recollect and from family letters that I've come across and even in his marriage record his occupation is listed as Fiddler so that's kind of an interesting uh, piece of information to know although he he actually was a tailor so not entirely sure exactly what types of clothes he made but it did seem to come down through the family um, so I'm going to do this in a series of videos because it's going to take quite a while to get through all the different lines of the family um, so starting with uh, Donald Feeler he married uh, Margaret Campbell in Scotland in 1809 and they were from let's see it here they were married in this little place called Glenelg in Scotland. Um, they, <clears throat> as I said, left Scotland in probably about 1815. There was not much emigration around 1812 because of the war. Um, there was a lot of emigration between 1780 and about 1812, um, which I'll get into some of that later. Anyhow, um, they were married in a little place called Galder, and that's just basically at the edge of Glenelg. So they left and came to Canada, to Glengarry County. And they settled right about here at a little place called Lagan, which is Glengarry County is uh, just east of Ottawa, and it's the easternmost county in Ontario before you hit Quebec. So if you know anything about the lots and concessions uh, systems in Ontario, everything is laid out lengthways in by concessions. So if you see this number here, uh, Roman numerals for seven, and Roman numerals here for eight. So they originally settled the first church records that we can find are for Donald Feeler's son, Malcolm, who was our ancestor. He would be my third great-grandfather. That's Malcolm. He was born in Glengarry at Lagan in March 25th, uh, 1821. So when they originally settled, they were on Lot 2, Concession 8. So this is between here and here and up this way this is concession eight so lot two was actually uh i think the way this this is an old map it's from 1879 from uh, belden's atlases so this here consists of lot two so they were somewhere on this lot here uh, this lot i visited many times uh, there's a farm up on this side that was owned by uh, Neil F. McCrimmon, and it was in their family for generations, um, and we're related to the McCrimmons, but I'll get into that in another video. So, uh, he was a fantastic fellow to talk to, but anyways, he owned this lot here, and then shortly after uh, Malcolm was born, the Morrisons moved up to the third lot of the ninth concession, which is this lot here, I think, the McLeod lot. Um, now, 
in the next uh, video or two, I have to get into the McLeod genealogy because um, Donald's son, Malcolm, that was born here, married to a McCrimmon, so that would be my third great-grandparents, and her parents were Duncan McCrimmon and Mary McLeod, so in this book here, McLeods of Glengarry, uh, it lists the connection back to 1793 to the McLeods that settled at Kirk Hill, which is, if you go to Lagan, this road actually continues east out to the church called Kirk Hill, and that was settled by the McLeod family in 1793. So that will be more in another video, but uh, eventually, going back to the Morrison family, if we go up this road, this is still a main uh, highway road that runs north-south. So if we go up to here, onto the ninth concession, this road here is called the Dunvegan Road, and you can see that on either side there were lots of McCrimmons and Morrisons, and I think probably most of them were related at some point. But if you travel out this road, follow it, follow it, follow it, and go to Dunvegan, there's a church right here, the Dunvegan Church. Now that's where my third great-grandfather Malcolm was buried. Um, and part of that reason is twofold. Uh, the McLeods that actually first settled Dunvegan are relations, but if you can see here, Duncan Morrison, uh, at one point, uh, Malcolm's full name was Malcolm Duncan Morrison. He owned this lot here and then eventually moved out to Moose Creek. So this whole area here is uh, basically cousins. These uh, Campbells here were actually related as well. Uh, Urquhart's. Uh, here, um, I think it was Malcolm's granddaughters that actually lived in this little house here. It was uh, two sisters, and I, I think uh, the one's name was Christina or Tina Urquhart. So anyways, there's a lot of uh, family history in this area. Uh, so eventually, at, at uh, when Malcolm's wife passed away, who was a McCrimmon, um, he eventually moved further out west to a little place called Moose Creek. So I will get into that history a little bit further on and um, actually take some video in these locations so that, um, Calvin, you can see where you came from. So I hope you take an interest and I hope it's something you enjoy a little bit. And uh, I would be really excited and happy and proud to see you go on a trail when you get older and go to Glengarry County in eastern Ontario and see where your roots are. So, and at the very least, I hope you just enjoy it because it's for you. Love you.